Okay, in this video, we're going to cover site calibration. We covered in an earlier video how to move the site to your uh, location by doing a site calibration. We are currently at the Trimble building in Colorado, so we're going to perform the uh, site calibration from this location. The first thing we're going to do is select the control point that we want to calibrate at. So on our screen, it is control point one. We're actually going to zoom in. and then tap and hold on control point one. As you can see, it has a select item come up. So we're gonna tap on control point one and navigate two. This gives, it, gives us an indication that we already have a site calibration in the site pull software. So as you can say, see, it's gonna navigate us to that control point. Right now, we have our uh, display set up for north uh, to be the top of the uh, map screen. If you tap on the map screen direction arrow, you can see I've uh, highlighted it in yellow. So when we start to move, you'll notice our screen rotate around and up is the direction of our travel. So as you can see, I've got to go 35 feet, 30 feet, it's counting down as I travel in the direction of the arrow. As you get closer, the arrow will turn to clear. And now we've reached our point. We're going to set up on our point and level and plumb our grade rod. So right now I'm putting the stakes in the ground and then leveling. Make sure the bubble's right in the center. So as you can see, our uh, calibration is right on. At this point, we're gonna pretend that we don't have a calibration in the system. So what you're actually gonna do is go under the gear icon, so tap on the gear icon, tap on the calibration button. You have two different selections for calibrating a site, uh, site calibration and select coordinate system. In this video, we're gonna go over site calibration, so tap on the site calibration button. So in the site calibration screen, at the top you have the control point. Right now it says cube 9850 feet. We don't want to select that one. You also have the option to enter a northern, easting, and elevation value if you're gonna calibrate on a point that isn't uh, one of your uh, points in the list and then required GNSS precisions. We're gonna change these. So we're gonna put in 0.2 for the horizontal and 0.2 for the vertical since we are running RTK today. Now we're gonna select that control point at the top. We know we're going to control point one, so we're gonna select it here. If you didn't know which control point you were going to select, you can hit the map icon on the far right and then select it from the map screen. And I will just hit the icon to demonstrate. So as you can see, I hit the map screen. We already have control point one selected. You can see the map pin next to it. So just hit accept again. Now we're going to actually measure. Our measure duration is 15 seconds. You can change that if you would like to. For this example, we will leave it at 15 seconds. Now tap the measure button. You'll notice that it will start counting up from one and we'll go to 15. You can see your current precisions and your required precisions. Our current precisions are underneath or required, so that's a good sign. So now it'll process the uh, site calibration. This may take some time depending on the size of your site. We got a pop-up saying our calibration has been completed. We're gonna tap okay in the pop-up. You will see we've been taken back to the setting screen. At this point you can set uh, tap on accept to go back to the map screen. 
now you can see that our calibration has been completed and we are ready to start working on the site. For more training, please visit learn.trimble.com and set up your free account.